Sound, yeah? Yeah, all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. From Rachel in Yorkshire. Can I read this one like this so it sounds like actual Rachel? So I live in student house share with two other girls and the male, as it seems, the male has a somewhat disregard towards personal hygiene. I wouldn't describe it as a pungent odour. It just tends to leave a musk around the house <laughs> once he leaves a room. Would you ask him, would you ask him to shower for us? We have lost all hope at this point. <laughs> As we've run out of pegs in for breeze. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> the three musketeers! Musketeers! This is so good! <laughs> Maybe just wash all these clothes, get him a two hour massage, tell her to use the strongest oils and um, yeah, wash all these clothes. You know, put him to sleep, give him some really strong chamomile tea, knock him out for a few days, shave him as well. From Jordan in Stoke on Trent. I really like this girl that seems quite shy and not very talkative. Any tips on how to get talking? I had a similar situation when I was at school and whilst I wasn't a very shy person, as you can imagine, I um, wasn't very successful with ladies until, you know, got to about 17, 18. I was a bit younger, um, I noticed this shy girl and I took her to the cinema because it's dark, so therefore she can be really shy in there. And um, it's a good opportunity to put an arm around a lady and sneak a smooch. And um, it worked for me, so hopefully it'll work for you too. If not, just DM her. Jack in Andover. Where's Andover? Belgium? I'm sure you've got a great accent. <laughs> Not gonna do it. All right, all right, E. My main problem with girls is they're constantly trying to control my life. Welcome to my world. When they've only been a part of it for like three weeks. Oh no, yeah, that does, that's a bit odd. I need some advice on how to maintain that. Oh, you wanna maintain your control. Well, I don't think either of you should be controlling. It should be give and take. Relationships are about give and take. Um, or, you know, I think it works with my wife because she controls me for a bit and then I control her. We take it in turn to control. Um, it's usually on a year, year in, year out basis. And uh, you've only made it to three weeks and they're already they want to run all over you. Maybe you're um, a bit of a pushover, mate. Just sit down with her. Just like, I'm not, I'm not feeling this, right? You're walking all over me. Who do you think I am? Right, so your brother, Thomas, in Luxembourg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is this? He's obviously got bowel problems, hasn't he? Like always going, always taking, can't say that naughty word, but he's always taking, and there's only one toilet around the house. Um, send him to the doctor, and then just like, you need to change your diet, you know? You stink, there's problems with your bowels, mum's getting upset, what are you doing to yourself, yeah? From Wall in Glasgow. All right, Uncle Elliot, aka Jean Paul, I fancy, you fancy joining me and several of my mates up in Canmore, Scotland for my birthday. You just want to go raving. Uh, <laughs> that's, um, I think I know this fella, actually. I bet this is Will Smith, but not the Will Smith. I've got a fan called Will Smith in Scotland. He's a nutter, he comes through every gig. He always buys me a bottle of whiskey. And he's been trying to get me to go out with his mates for years. Will, nice try, but this is for people with problems. In fact, you have got a problem, haven't you? You're obsessed with me, you weirdo.